Good morning, this is John AE5X, and um, there's currently a thread running on the Group I.O. for QRP Labs products regarding the sensitivity of the QMX transceiver. Most transceivers have that information published about them. Um, that's kind of tough to do for a kit because different people build the kit with different degrees of attention to detail. So I thought I would measure the MDS by ear of my QMX and it won't be an absolute measurement. I'm going to compare how it receives a weak signal to the same weak signal put into a KX2 and a Yaesu FT891. Okay, I've currently got the attenuator set, the step attenuator set to have no attenuation whatsoever. 70 dBm, negative 70 dBm coming out of the Tiny SA Ultra, going through here for an additional 30 dB of attenuation, none here, like I said. So I'm gonna be injecting a minus 100 dBm signal into the KX2, and the KX2's preamp is turned off. So it should be a fairly strong signal. And there it is. Again, the preamp is off. Let me put in 20 dB of attenuation. And that's now minus 120 dBm. You can still hear it. We put in uh, 10 more. I don't know if the camera is picking that up or not. I can hear it, but just barely. Let me take that out. Put okay, that's minus 128 with the attenuator off. I mean, I'm sorry, with the preamp off. Let me turn the preamp on. It's quite a bit stronger. It's minus 140. Preamp back off. I can't hear that at all. So I'm going to call that minus 128 with the preamp off and minus 140 with the preamp on for the KX2. Okay, let me uh, change radios. I'm going to put the FT891 in next and we'll see how it fares with everything else being identical. Okay, the FT891 is connected. Everything else is exactly the same except for this cable I had to change because I've got a different connector on the back of the FT891, an SO239 instead of a BNC. So everything else is the same though. So uh, minus 70, 30. So this is minus 100 dBm altogether and then whatever I put in here. Right now this is zero. So here comes a minus 100 dBm signal into the FT891. <clears throat> and that's pretty strong. 20 dB more. Still strong. 20 more. That's minus 140 dBm going into the uh, FT891. Which I think is probably about the same level we left um, or the same amount of signal that we're able to hear that we had on the KX2. So I'm going to call this 140 for the FT891. And again, this is discernible by ear, not by test equipment, reading the, uh, the audio output for 3 dB over the noise. I'm not doing that right now. I may later. Again, this is all for relative purposes. Okay, so those are those two radios for which the specs are widely published both by uh, Sherwood Engineering and by the owner's manual for each radio, the KX2 and the FT891. Let me uh, now hook up the QMX Plus and we'll see how it looks. Okay, the moment of truth. This is the QMX Plus and I've got an external powered speaker since the radio doesn't have its own speaker. 
So let's see, I've got zero attenuation dialed in here, minus 70 coming up. 30, of course. So right now we will be putting minus 100 dBm into the QMX Plus. And I've changed the frequency. I went up 2 kilohertz from where the other radios were operating because at 14030, I had a very, very weak birdie. So uh, we're at 14032 now. All right, let's see how minus 100 dBm sounds. All right, 20 less signal coming in. All right, this is minus 120. Still pretty strong. Minus 140. And no more. Let's go to minus 130. Let me toggle that on and off. Minus 126, very obvious, obviously there. Okay, I'm going to call that minus 130 for the QMX Plus, which is uh, about what I expected, actually. I'm going to go through the other bands. I haven't done that yet, but I've got everything set up here. And I'm not going to do that on camera, but I'm going to go through 6 to 160. And I'll publish those numbers on my website um, once I get that all done. But anyway, I'm going to call the QMX Plus minus 130, which is, um, let's see what my notes say, about 2 dB better than what the KX2 was without the preamp on. So, uh, and again, this is my QMX Plus. Others will react differently depending on how the coils were wound. Others may be better. They may be a little bit worse. Um, but anyway, I'm entirely happy with the performance of this radio. 73, thanks for watching.